We are really still mourning the loss of a legend. Who am I talking about? The one and the only, the incomparable Miss Whitney Houston. She was born August 9th, 1963 in East Orange, New Jersey. And what a life that she lived, a life that was so full of promise, so full of zest, and so full of zeal. A life that was cut short tragically, and the details are still unknown. But on this morning, we celebrate her life and all that she has brought to the table. Take a look. You're looking at Whitney's Grammy performance that she did. The, this came the year 1994 after she completed the Bodyguard soundtrack, which was one of the number one soundtracks of all times. And what I want to do is I want you to understand the impact that Whitney not only had on the music world, but that she had on society as a whole. Take a look at the awards that she actually won during her time and during her years here on earth and all the things that she was able to accomplish. I'm talking about two Emmy Awards. She had U.S. number one albums. There were four of those. We're talking about her People Choice Awards, the Grammy Awards that she won, Soul Train Awards, number one song after song from I Will Always Love You to Saving All My Love For You. We had the NAACP Image Awards, the American Music Awards, 22 of those. 30 Billboard Music Awards that she was actually able to win during her time. Then, of course, the Radio Independent Association Awards. And then she had a total award nominations of 562 and 450 of the 415 of those she actually won. She was a legend in her time. And, of course, this was cut short on February such a tragic time that we think about Whitney Houston, we think about what she was able to bring to the table and a life that was left, a life that was left undone. We think about Bobby Christina, we think about Sissy Houston, all this came to an end at the Beverly Hilton Hotel on Saturday and what's so imminent about it is not only is it Black History Month but also the fact that it was on the night of the Clive Davis Grammy party realize and understand that the Clive Davis Grammy party was not only made for Clive Davis but also for Whitney Houston who has won six Grammy Awards who was the voice who was the legend Whitney we will forever love you and we're thinking about you this morning in our hearts we're thinking about Bobby Brown we're thinking about Bobby Christina of course we're thinking about her Aunt D on, and we're thinking about her mother, Sissy Houston. Now, details are still um, pending at this time. Um, of course, the investigation and the toxicology reports and everything. But on this morning, we celebrate the life, the legacy. We celebrate the voice. We celebrate the fact that she came from starting in the church, actually singing with her mother. Her mother trained her in the church and she actually grew up and her voice was impeccable. Um, artists from Alicia Keys to Adele to LL Cool J have saluted. And not only that, but think about legends such as Aretha Franklin. Think about legends that we have such as um, Diana Ross, all of them, Patti LaBelle, are talking about the fact and the great things that she did. So Whitney Houston, we celebrate your legacy on the day. We celebrate what you have brought to the table. A life well lived, a life well deserved, a legend, the voice, Miss Whitney Houston. We'll be back after these breaks.